Hello guys and welcome to Python Programming Tutorials by Amuls Academy. Today in this tutorial we are discussing about how to print stars in alphabetical B shape. In the previous tutorial we discussed about how to print stars in alphabetical A shape. If you already watched that video then it is very easy to print alphabetical B because uh, there is no much difference in the code. Alright now we will begin with the code. So here First, we'll take for loop that is to print stars in rows and column. Here in the output, we can see different rows and columns. We want to print stars in the different row and different column here. So for that, we are using two for loops. One is for row and another one is for column. So first I'll use for row in range 7. Here row is an variable, range is from 0 to 7. 7 because here we can see 7 rows in the output 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I took 7 here. If you want you can change the number. And here we can see 5 columns. So I will take 5 there. Alright. Next, I'll take if else conditional statement. That's because we are not printing stars in each row and each column. We want to print in a particular shape. For that, we need a condition. So I'll use if condition. Now I need to mention the condition that is where I want to print this star. That is in which row and in which column stars are needed. Okay. So for that, here we can see in the output. In the column 0 and column 4 we can see the stars right so here mention I'll check whether column is equal to 0 or column is equal to 4 here or is a logical operator and in the case of logical or if both the input are false then only output is false otherwise it is true if any one of the input is true then output will be true here I mentioned or because if the control is in column 0 or column 4, I want star, right? So I mentioned or here and I'll group them. This is my one condition or and we'll see another condition. So now column is done. That means this part is done. So now we need to concentrate on the rows. That is here we can see row 0, row 3 and row 6 we can see stars here right so I want to print this star in the row 0, row 3 and row 6 but at that time column should be greater than 0 and less than 4 because this is already done right we want only this now so we want star at row 0, row 3 and row 6 but at that time column should be 1, 2, 3 not 0, not 4. So now I will write like this that is I will check whether row is equal to equal to 0 or row is equal to equal to 3 or row is equal to equal to 6. Okay. If any one of this condition is true then I want star. But at that time, column should be greater than 0 and column should be less than 4. So I group this together. Okay, here in this condition, here we are checking whether row is equal to 0 or row equal to 3 or row equal to 6, we want star. But at that time column should be greater than 0 and column should be less than 4. Here this is the logical AND operator. In this case if both the inputs are true then only it will give output as true. Otherwise it is false. Okay. So in the logical AND if any one of the condition is false then output is false. Here I want both this condition should be true. That's why I use this AND here. And this AND is because if any one of this condition is true, I want this should be true, right? So I used AND here. Okay, I'll again explain you. 
first i'll check whether column is equal to 0 or column equal to 4 if any one of the condition is true i want the star so here we can see this column 0 and column 4 okay this is my one condition next i'll use or here this condition or this condition if any one of this condition is true i want star that's why i mentioned or here and here in this part we are concentrating on the rows that is at row 0 or row 3 or row 6 we want star but at that time column should be greater than 0 and less than 4. If you already watched my previous tutorial then this is only the new thing right. Remaining codes are same right. Then I'll enter inside the if body and I'll print star. And here I'll change end is empty string. Here end is an uh, string in the print statement. Here in the output after printing star immediately I want next star. I don't want any space or new line between these two stars. So that's why I mentioned end is empty string here. Okay. If you want to know more about this end string then you need to watch my previous tutorial that is uh, printing stars in alphabetical A shape in that I explained in detail ok and next I will print else part ok so if this condition is not satisfied then what happens if this condition is not satisfied then I will print space that's why I will use end equal to space Okay, inside the first for loop, I'll print print statement. It is because after each row, we need a new line. That is uh, here after printing row 0, control goes to the next line, right? That's why we are using this statement. Okay, now we are done with the code. So, I'll save this and run this. And here we can see the output. Okay, but this won't look like proper b right if you want proper b then you can modify your condition and you will get that to get more convincing b we need to change in the column 4 ok so what I will do is here I will remove this column 4 ok so I will do this now I will write the condition for column 4 so I'll take another or so next here I mention whether column is equal to 4 that time row should not be equal to 0 and row should not be equal to 3 and row should not be equal to 6 and rest part all are same right row is equal to 3 6 and 0 so now I'll save this and run this and here we can see the output here what I did is I removed this star and this star and this star okay so now it look like B right for that I changed in the column 4 that is I want star in the column 4 but that time row should not be equal to 0, row should not be equal to 3 and row should not be equal to 6. Right? Here I removed the star right? So that's why I mentioned here when column is equal to equal to 4 row should not be 0, 3 and 6. Okay that's it for now. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. I'll meet you in next class. Till then take care.